Marhaban Bikun. Now, in this session, I will be covering um, the grammar that you need to complete uh, page 22 to 27 of the book. So, your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. So, please be, uh, be with me. Attention. So, we're going to be now explaining uh, a point of grammar which is going to take us from page 22 to page 27. Attention, please. Right, okay. Um, you know Beitun. Beitun is a house. Beiti, my house. And Beituka, your house. Talking to a man, single. Beituki, your house. That's a feminine singular. Beituhu, his house. And bay to her, a house. We know the ending of possessive for singles, singulars. We say e ending for I, ka, ki, hu, ha. If you remember, who is his and her is hers. Uh, hu, ha. Now, when that's before a preposition uh, getting involved, when we have a preposition before this, uh, anything which is uh, Possessive. Let's see what's happening. Fi beiti. Now beiti because there is already kesra there to say my in any case. So nothing has changed. You just retain as it is. Keep it as it is. Fi beiti. Fi beiti ka. Now beitu, which is ending of the noun itself, becomes i. That's in line with the, with the rules. So you have fi preposition in beiti is ending now in kesra this ka is person you are talking to fi beiti ka in your that's male singular house fi beiti ka beituki your meaning you feminine singular your house beitu you can see there's u there and there's nothing here before that bait so Keeps its uh, original format, its original case ending. But when we have intruder here, fi is uh, preposition, fi beiti is, uh, is changing now into e because of the fi, fi beiti ki, and you are, you are talking to a single female. Beitu who? His house. Beitu, that's house. And there is no preposition before it, so it's keeping its original U. And it's a single U because it is defined by possessive. So, pay to who? His house. Now, when we have now the intrusion of fi, which is preposition, pay to he, fi pay to he. Ah, here you need to clock this for me. Attention. Here we have beiti, yeah, which is fine, but the who is changing to he. That's a very confusing, but yeah, thank God it's not many of those. Eh? So anytime you have kesra e for any reason before the attached pronoun, which means his, you cannot, you are not allowed to combine the e with who. You cannot say fi beiti who. No. You have to change that who into kesra. So fi beiti he in his house. For instance, if I say muallimun, a teacher, if you want to say with his teacher, muallimu who, that's mean his teacher. If you have ma'a with ma'a muallimi. He it will become so. Let's just uh, demonstrate that for you. So you have muallimun, it means a teacher, muallimun, and then you have muallimuhu, muall muallimuhu, his teacher. If I put a preposition there, ma'a, for instance, with muall. Mo al li me. That's because of the ma. I need to change the ending, which is u here, 
into E. That's a mu'allimi. Now, I want to say with his teacher, I'm putting the, this who, but this time I put kesra because we cannot have a kesra before the pronoun, which is who, and, and, and retain the who. You are not allowed to say mu'allimi who. No, that's who to be changed into kesra. Mu'allimi he. All this is explained as well uh, on page 22 onward to all the way to page 27 with plenty of exercises that you can do uh, to make sure you become comfortable with these uh, slight changes at the end. Because we know the rules. Uh, the rules originally is who, but only when you have a kesra before that who, and that kesra will probably be you have a preposition before that noun, and as a result, the who will becomes he, ah, who he now, okay? Now, but as for bay to her, her house, nothing will change. There's no effect. You have be bay t, you retain back to the, the norm. So be bay t, and you keep the her. Her is always be her, huh? never be misbehave. But who, he is, I wonder why, where the who is always sometimes misbehave. So, Fi beiti he, fi beiti ha. So fi beiti, that's fine. Fi beiti ka, fi beiti ki, fi beiti he has been explained. Fi beiti ha. Okay, let's move to um, the second part of this chart. Right here, this is another. Uh, if I Demonstrate and just to remind you, really, the ab, ab, abun, that's uh, a father. Remember, it's one of the two nouns that I explained previously to say they have the secret hidden wow, which comes out when you say yours, like a abu, abuka, abuhu, abuha. We have that wow suddenly appears. Now, abi, that's known. My father. Anytime you want to attribute a noun to you as a speaker, you need that ending e. So abi. Now abuka. Suddenly from ab we have abuka. So abuka is your father. Abuka. So the secret was is out. The same thing when you say abuki, talking to a woman. Abuki. Or Abu Hu, his father, talking about Abu Hu, his father, and Abu Ha. Abu Ha. So, wow is out. So, only when you say Abi, my father, that wow is still buried away. Abi, my father. Now, that's the before the intrusion of, the, of any preposition. Now let's see what's happening. What will happen when we have a preposition with this particular noun, um, abu? What will happen? Here we have secret wow coming out. But when you have a pronoun, a, a uh, preposition, any preposition before this structure, the wow simply changes its color to ya. So it will be. Ma, -a. right, let's write that one. So, picture that for me. Secret wow is out, no preposition, but let's see what happens when we have a preposition before this. So, the my father will be okay, I'm sure. Let's have a look. So, we have ma -a with abi, with my father, with my father, abi. So you say abi without without uh, so abi ma'a that's ma'a abi with my father. If you don't have ma'a, it's still abi my father. So stay the same. But when we say abuka, and then we have ma'a or any other preposition before it ma'a instead of say abuka, so we say we. Change the wow into, let me just write that wow so that you can see transformation. 
uh, more clearly. So without without uh, preposition first. So we have abu abuka. Now, if I have preposition, I will say ma a b abika. Right. Let's explain that. The world which we have here has now been changed to a ya because of preposition. And because of the existence of ya, which is, has the sound of e sound, that's e sound that now forced the uh, dhamma, u, which was put there because of the wow, is now into kesra. Into kesra, ma'a abika. So u becomes e sound. Two things is happening there. First of all, we change the wow into a ya, and because of the wow here, we have u abuka, changing the wow to ya because of preposition is now changing the vowel of wa, of, of ba as well. So ma abika. The same thing will be will happen if we have the other noun, which is ahu. So ahu will be ahuka ma. A, Ahika. So it will be the same thing. Uh, ahuka. Ahuka. And ma'a. Ahika. The same rules apply. So ahika. Ma'a. Ahika. So that's what is, uh, this uh, uh, section is about. So ma'a abi. Ma'a abika. Ma'a. Uh, abiki, ma'a, abihi, because we have this silence, ya, yeah, which is like a sukun before the this who, we change into kesra, abihi, and ma'a, abiha. A lot to digest here, a lot to understand here, a lot to remember. So I urge you go to page 22, read it thoroughly, all the way to page 27. I provided you there with a load of exercises deliberately designed to reinforce this and to make sure you have a load of practice to make it become kind of a, a second nature uh, to you. And that will happen. Try your best and good luck. Right, let's uh, together put the... Uh, uh, the grammar we have learned uh, into practice now um, with new, more words for you, more vocabulary. Um, we have uh, madrasatun, which you know, a school. Tawilatun, a table. Matbakhun, kitchen. Oh, that's, that's nice uh, vocabulary. Matbakhun, kitchen. Maktabun, an office. Kulliyatun, kulliyatun, college. Faslun, classroom. Hada baytu Adam. This is Adam's house. Adam's house. You can see the arrangement in Arabic. Baytu Adam. Fi matbakhihi matbakhun ending with un. But here, matbakhi is ending with kasra. The kasra is because of fi, preposition. Matbahuhu is the original format. And because of fi, we end up with kasra here. And we change the hu into kasra as well. Fi matbahihi tawilatun kabiratun. And that's your predicate. Fi matbahihi in his kitchen, what? Tawilatun kabiratun. A large table. Adjectives? following exactly what is happening to the noun. Tawilatun is a feminine and is not defined. It's indefinite noun. It's ending in un. The adjective also is indefinite and is ending on un. And both are feminine. Hadihi madrasatu Salma. This is Salma's school. Fi fosliha ha. 
in her classroom في فصلها what حاسوب جديد a new computer حاسوب is masculine and is indefinite adjective inevitably is also masculine and it is indefinite في كلية in my college طالب ذكي جدا in my college there is a clever student his name is Hussein اسمهو as your pronoun attach pronoun اسمهو his name is because there's no al here there's is he is hiding there as explained in the past اسمهو Hussein his name is Hussein في مكتبك in your office في مكتبك in your office في preposition and it's affecting the end the case ending of مكتبون becomes مكتبي single e في مكتبك in your office is the is is hiding and is implied uh, and because there's no l so automatically when you have a defined noun followed by something which is not defined automatically the is or are is implied في مكتبك موظف مهمل وغبي in your office there is a careless stupid employee careless مهمل in arabic when you have two nouns or more it's tradition when you have a two uh, adjective for instance you have موظف مهمل is an adjective Another adjective is غبيون. Unlike English, where you use comma, comma, and then the last you list, you say and. Now in Arabic, it it is very uh, traditional in Arabic and correct grammatically to insert wow, which is like a and, which is and in Arabic. في مكتبك موظف مهمل وغبي. A quick uh, reading for you. So, مدرسة طاولة مطبخ مكتب كلية فصل هذا بيت آدم في مطبخه طاولة كبيرة هذه مدرسة سلمى في فصلها حاسوب جديد في كلية طالب ذكي جدا اسمه حسين في مكتبك موظف مهمل وغبي مرحبا we have more practice and more vocabulary as well useful one صورة picture like a photo سرير bed مكتبة desk يا حمزة ما ذلك على مكتبك؟ أو حمزة was that on your desk؟ ما ذلك على مكتبتك؟ على is your preposition and that's why مكتبة becomes مكتبتك because it's defined and its preposition is ending with a single كسرة e. ما ذلك على مكتبتك؟ مكتبتك يا سلمى that's a female name يا سلمى من تلك البنت تحت سريرك سلمى who is that girl under your bed من تلك البنت تحت سريري سرير كسرة is because of تحت before it originally it is سرير become سريرك وسريركي and then سريركي تحت سريري the ending of that now is now case ending is كسرة because of تحت أين صديقتك where is your friend صديقة that's a female friend أين صديقتك في هذه الصورة in this picture في هذه الصورة as in fact, you can see ending in Kesra there. Here, 
بين أبيها she is بين as between أبيها آه. أبيها originally is أبوها as you may remember because of uh, بين the wow the secret wow from أبوها is now being changed into يا and as a result we have the kasra on the back to suit the, the يا B to match the يا أبي that's يا sound بين أبيها وأخيها and her brother. These are the two nouns, as I mentioned several times, which have the secret wow, and the wow changes into ya when you have the preposition uh, before it. So, هي بين أبيها وأخيها الكبيري. الكبيري here is describing what? Is describing this, uh, the, 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 the brother. That's why it is uh, defined. Because Akhiha, her brother, brother here is defined by possessive, her brother, and, and is ending in, in the Kesra effect, Akhi. So the uh, adjectives as well so mirroring that, and had ending in Kesra, and is male. Baina, hiya baina abiha, wa akhiha al kabir. Please go to page 22, all the way to page. 27 of the book to make sure you analyze and digest these very important grammar points.